Well, San Diegans continue to come together to support those facing violence in Ukraine. And joining us now from the House of Ukraine is the president there, Mira Rubin, to talk about an upcoming event. Hi, Mira. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Doing well. Uh, tell me about this event. I understand it's Saturday at noon there in Balboa Park. Oh, yeah. So we have two events. I'm glad you mentioned that one. So Saturday at noon, we have a protest. Well, it's a rally, I guess. It's a peaceful rally that we are organizing in support of Ukraine, of course. And uh, we're hoping to have a really large turnout. There's going to be, a, a, you know, chanting, singing, um, all the regular rallying stuff. So um, maybe we'll have um, one of the congressmen attending again. We had Mike Levine attending a few weeks ago. Uh, we are meeting with Scott Peters on Friday morning, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed he'll be able to attend on Saturday. So yeah, it's happening. We have another big event on Sunday, so I'm not sure if you guys have reported on that one, and that's a soccer event. Oh, tell me more about that one then. Um, I thought that's why you want to talk to me about it, but it looks like San Diego Soccers uh, organizing Ukrainian night. Um, it's going to be a fundraiser that uh, some of the proceeds will go towards Ukrainian humanitarian relief, and it's going through the House of Ukraine. And it's a 5 p.m. Um, event at the Pechanga San Diego Sports Arena at 5 o'clock on April 10th on Sunday. So there is going to be a, you know, a game, and we will have a chance to have some Ukrainian merchandise and fundraise for the relief efforts. Oh, great. Terrific. So two events, one Saturday, one Sunday. Uh, what are you asking those of us here in the United States to do? What can we do to help the people in Ukraine? So, as you know, the situation is dire. Um, war crimes are out of control. Um, people are in need of so many things. House of Ukraine is specifically focusing on medical aid. Um, and it's a frontline medical kits that we're fundraising for, and um, also protective military body gear. Um, that need has not gone away. We have found a very good opportunities how we're getting stuff out of the U.S. and very fast. We're getting things into Ukraine from San Diego all the way to uh, the front lines in three to four days, mm -hmm. which is pretty incredible. And we've had a lot of volunteers helping us. But that's why we're fundraising, because we need money to be able to do this um, in the scale that we're doing it and as fast as we're doing it. I know earlier on you were asking people to actually bring helmets if they had any extra ones, maybe people in the military. Are you still asking for that or is it easier? Absolutely. Sure. Just bring the material or, or make a donation because then you use the money and you go out and you actually buy the equipment and then you send it over there, right? Absolutely. So either monetary donations or equipment, if they have it, even if it's used, we accept any kind of military gear equipment because it's becoming very difficult to buy it. Um, so if people have helmets, um, they have ballistic helmets, they have um, bulletproof vests, they have knee pads, they have elbow pads, they have even, you know, uniforms that they can donate. We are very happy to take them and we are sending that all that stuff to Ukraine. We've been uh, showing video, the, just the horrific scenes there in Ukraine of bodies in the streets. What are you hearing from people there uh, in Ukraine, if anything? Uh, probably here worse than what you guys even mm. see. We have friends and family there, and we got some of the footage that is not even shown on American news. And it's, it's, it's horrendous. It's beyond... It's beyond any wild imagination of what evil can be, and this is uh, this is evil against good. I mean, we don't. It's it's hard to explain what they're doing. It's 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 hard to understand. It's hard to comprehend, and the the pain that we are going through watching all this is 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 too deep. It's, it's, yeah. it's terrible. I, we were covering stories of just regular citizens learning how to make Molotov cocktails. They were trying to get guns. They were trying to do anything to kind of protect themselves and their homes and their country. Are you hearing that that's still happening, that kind of thing, taking on the Russians? Oh, absolutely. And especially now when they're freeing the cities and they see what type of sadistic situations been happening there and what Russian soldiers been doing to our women, to our children, to our old people, um, all the evidence of rape and devastation and robbing of the houses and shooting innocents. I mean, it's it's not uh, it's not military and military. I mean, they're coming into the cities, suppose, occupying them and then terrorizing the peaceful people. So knowing what has happened in these few cities under Kiev and, uh, you know, a lot of people who are not sieged yet, they're putting everything to fight Russians. I mean, Molotov cocktails is the minimum, but you, yeah. you have.
not. I mean, this is right now. It's a question: Will you survive? Right. So um, it's not about will Russia be telling you what to do and occupying you, and you know, it, it's it's more about will I survive? And yes, people are standing up and fighting. Absolutely. My goodness. Yeah. Do, do you have a website there at the House of Ukraine for people who want to get more information and make a donation? Yes, it's www.houseofukraine.org, and there is a lot of information there. We also started putting a blog of showing what we've been doing and you know uh, what successes we are having, um, so people can see uh, there you know where the stuff is going. Sure. And there is ways to donate, and there's also information about um, the volunteering and how they can help us with sorting stuff and where the donations um, could be brought to. All right, Mira Rubin. Uh, Mira, great to see you. Uh, President, uh, House of Ukraine. And I'll just remind everybody, you've got the, um, the rally on Saturday at 12 p.m. there at the House of Ukraine, Balboa Park, and then you've got the, uh, the soccer game then on Sunday the following day. Uh, Mira, great to see you. Yes. Just, just a correction. So I'm the sure. rally on Saturday is going to be under the monument of El Cid. It's on Prado. So it's not by the House of Ukraine uh, cottage. It's on Prado under the statue of the monument and the horse. Okay. Horse. Thanks for the clarification. All right, Mira, good to see you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank you.